Well, it's been a stressful morning. I'm uh, cutting a project box open to um, to implement uh, an injection plastic injection moulding system I'm making. The first catastrophic mistake I made was to use this unit, which I blew up a while ago. Um, when I bought the box to make sure that it would fit this way then got home to discover the unit I'm actually planning to use whilst identical in this dimension is quite a lot longer so I had to go with the box this way around but really this video is um, is a request for help or ideas more than imparting information because I've spent the morning and you can see uh, the mess around here with a with a Dremel um, hacking out bits of plastic, I'm covered in it, um, the floor's covered in it, uh, from a box like this to make holes like these to fit the various components in. So that component, that hole fits the, um, the flex cable, and it's quite a tight fit. The flex cable plug, I should say. This um, this box is for the uh, this box hole is for the PID which I won't push in properly and finally that's upside down um, this hole is for the mains um, the mains plug uh, the mains switch <coughs> so I got there but it was miserable you you end up you mark it out as best you can um, it's never good enough you grind away, you whittle away, you overshoot, you make marks on the on the project box which you didn't mean to make. There's a ding there, there's a ground out piece there. Um, it's very time consuming, it seems to be very error prone. If I want to do this often, I don't want to do it like this. So I'm wondering if anyone's got any surefire ways of um, making this go more easily. You can pair it with a knife but it's not that controlled and it's easy to cut yourself or scratch the surface. The Dremel works, but it's very messy. Um, you have to wear eye protection, really, or you'd be advised to, well advised to, because um, it chucks bits of plastic and shattered grinding wheels in your face. Um, it's just not a very good experience, and uh, it doesn't make me feel like the mighty engineer I imagine I ought to be. Um, so if you've got any ideas uh, or experience that says, nah, don't do it like that, you idiot, do it like this. I would very much appreciate you getting in touch. Um, so thank you very much.